I hereby name you man and wife. As man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dev's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my pots. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrow's shadow would have a target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. Everything an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Let's have a drink. Yes, celebrate. Skull. Drink more. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the Ale Beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you?
silver. Such tiny ambition. <laughs> This hell is strong, brother. <laughs> but I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolf Kissed. Represents fertility. Did you know that? Estos Freyer, what's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Be plain about it, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? A good plow sword is a rare thing. Lead the way. I will too, brother. The sagas are never the... This night remains glorious. So I told the dame, you get the wool, while the Saxon hey, was his hey, name. Hey, the time comes, you make me look as true for everyone. You like... Come join me! I hate it, actually. <clears throat> when we make that stew, you can have my bowl. You think in such a strange way. The Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull, Rati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... 
I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything spinny. You're very strong. You you're very large. Huh. Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> mm -hmm. Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I am ready to hear you address your kingdom. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times, but it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So, to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? To the good king, Oswald! Skull! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Quick, brother! We can't lose to Oswald. It was a beautiful wedding, Oswald. Like you said it would be. Thanks to you, and everything you've done here. Everything I've done here was for my clan. Their safety is my night's good rest. You know that feeling, I'm sure. I do. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, Great King. I should find Finier. Say goodbye before I leave.
everything, Savor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. Valdis. Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I... Take care, Valdis. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. Now it seems the wind. Brother, Oswald is in your hands now. Protect your king. And call out to my banner, should the need arise. Aye, Eivor. Without a moment's hesitation. Travel safe. I will, friend. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Brother. Eivor, you will be missed. I gave you a few good memories to keep. <laughs> that you did. Take care of your king, brother. He'll need you in the years to come. Let's go. More sail. Is there a sea skull among you? Remember when Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalsnes. I knew even then our chance at victory was slim. It was a fool's errand. But Eivor demanded we strike, and I am not one to disobey my superior. Such is the mark of an honorable man. You all know what followed. Take the mark down! We set upon Kjotve's men and were overwhelmed. You lot were captured and fit to be butchered, and Eivor here... Carried off to be sold into slavery. A fate worse than a fine death. But there is one fact you do not know. Raise the mark! In the initial fight, I came upon Kjotve, cowering in an empty house. He did not see me, and I came within two arm's lengths of him. I could have slain him! A fast stroke of my axe, ending all mark. troubles. But I held back. Why? Because I remembered my oath to Eivor. Yes, years ago, Eivor had staked the claim Master. of Kjotve's life. So I left the background alone. Yes. A pity, Dag. There is no one living who can verify this incredible tale. Reef sail! Yeah. 
Sing us a song. You salt skulls got a story. I was in Hairdeby when I saw the truest scene of love. There were two royals. Kings. A story. Hush now. from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had Hold on to scout. Stop that. Come on. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished.
Let's just say it out! Let's have a song. We'll share a tale. You may not know this. My favorite part of it. Here is a tale I do not often tell. When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls, together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of England. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars, you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy, Uthrod, suggested we steal a keg of meat and drown in happiness for our good work. So Guthrod, Mikkel, and Orsa snuck into the storeroom and stole a barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Guthrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. I stood and said, the idea was mine. Immediately for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, that is not again? true. Then, they moved on. We'll pick up from there. Finir, welcome to our home. May you find a second wind here. One to fill your sails and send you across the world and back. That is an image I will fix in my mind, Wolfkist. Happy. I should talk to Haidem. I brought something for you. I've heard tell that this one's a real fighter. We've been looking for this fish for a long time. I'm off. Be well, friend. Come back soon. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well. I have to go. Then go in peace.
Nice to see you. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Toby? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Toby, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they're ready. Sven wasn't ready, and I wasn't ready either. Everyone looks at me like I was... They don't... Life may ask. Mm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. That must have been... Someone else might have done... I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. And know that you're valued.
Do you see? Need to be careful here.
Should be cautious around here. <gasps>
do you see, Sunan?
best not to draw attention here.
guards here are vigilant. Be strong, Tovi, and know that you're valued. Eivor, awake so soon? Yes. The fog cleared suddenly. I... I can speak of what I've seen, but... I felt pulled away. Say nothing of it now. Return to this another time. I will. And I'm ready. to see the Alliance map.
So Jailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Jailbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Jailbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make my way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I'll certainly be needed. <laughs> 